live in the Sneaker Enthusiast Facebook group for the final battle of this year's Sneaker Enthusiast and Soul Life Sneaker Battle Tournament. It has come down to two of the most heavy hitters in the group. They were not playing, man. They came prepped. They came ready with the ski masks. Bruh, what's at stake, man? The chip, man. We're here. We're here for the championship. Uh, you know, Jonathan, you want to go over? You want to go over what what they would win? What what they get when they win? Besides besides the clout. So yeah, yeah, of course. So, That's what know, we Dragon eat for. Race, the clout, what have you? Uh, yeah. So it's gonna be an, uh, a trophy in the style of trophy from the NBA. Some of you, if you guys watch basketball, remember. Uh, as well as a Soul Life T-shirt, some stickers, you know, nice little letter, you know, it's 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 hello, you know what I mean? Like it's it's, it's a big deal. You get it, you get a fucking hat, just like how you do when you win a championship, and yep. Yep. and uh, and it's gonna be sick. It's just gonna be tight. So you know, may yeah, the best and, man uh, win. Yeah, and a collab. They, a collab? And a collab too. I heard it was a collab coming. I heard it was. I don't have I don't have the infrastructure for a collab. Uh, it's okay. I'll fund it. I'll hey, some in the uh, future, uh, definitely. Let me. Hey, Darian, on like that, man. So we're just letting. I'm just letting some people uh, come on to the to the live stream. But while people are are joining in, I'm how's gonna... my mic? What? My mic is it? Good? It's uh, it's pretty good. Okay. 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 Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, it's a little meek. You know what I mean? But. But well, we're right. out here. I'll get, I'll get louder. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pin this to featured so that people know that we're up on right now. Um looks like oh I haven't even checked the chat. Um who do we got in here? We got oh Channel Chill Town. What's up, dude? Uh tuning in from YouTube. He says, Let's see a, a good battle. This is the championship battle. So you came this is going to be the best one. Um, sup, sup with Jonathan's background. Jonathan's actually oh, in a, Hawaii right now. That's why he's got the shades on. So it's, it's like a yeah, green screen. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, Joe, who else is in here? John, Jazz Cruz is in here. What's up? Sup to the channel sometime? Oh. Yes. I'm going to write it down right now, actually. Channel Chill Town. I'm subbing to it. Yeah, later. so you just go. The, yeah, you can go to a virtual background and then pick my. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's in a parking lot right now, guys. Give it up for Jonathan. Dedication. All right. All right so what? Fuck it. We, there's seven people in here. This is the championship battle. Um. So let's. So this is how this is gonna work, guys. So. Darian, his emoji is, the ninja, as it's always been ever since he entered the tournament so when when we do a round it'll be round one plus the ninja emoji if you want to vote for darian and if you'd like to vote for chris what emoji are you chris the rose or a flower a rose or any kind of flower so you'll put round one round two whatever round we're in and you're gonna put the rose and that is a vote for my guy chris gerald all right you can't double vote you can't be like oh you know what this is too hard, and put both that immediately disqualifies you. So, yeah, so you know right and, now. Uh, please don't use the, the counting Chris, gets really Chris, annoying. Realize, hey Chris, <laughs> hey Chris, you realize that's going, huh? Huh? You realize how hard it was to keep that ski mask? <laughs> I couldn't do it. It was fogging up my glasses. Yeah, he was getting eczema. He was his skin was getting irritated. Hey, I tried oh, for shit. this, you know. Uh oh, Colin's here. What's up, Colin? Uh, my guy, uh, Max is writing to us, and looks like I don't even know what that is. It might be a uh, Italian, I don't Italian know. Italian or Latin. Uh, Ryan is here. What's up, Ryan? You guys ready for a good battle? Uh, Brandon says, "Ah, shit, where's my ski mask?" We got twelve people in here. Let's get into the first round, guys. Woo, round right? one. I can't <clears throat> wait. To, this is gonna be so fun. One. Eight, nine, oh, Amy's eight, here. That's cool. Hey, Amy. Uh, we're getting right into it. Boom. 
childhood dreams. This was, this is a this is a sneaker tournament classic right here. So, I mean, I know that Chris is you know a little bit young on the side, but Darian, you know, for all those old people, even young people, you know, when you were a kid, you saw this sneaker. It could have been on a show, it could have been on a commercial magazine, doesn't matter. And it was a shoe that you always wanted as a kid, but you could never have it. And now, as an adult, you know, you're stacking, you know, you're stacking your bread. Now you can get it. So, gentlemen, get those sneakers ready, and let's get right into it. In three, two, one, show you got. Ooh, I day put them on. Pulled them out on okay, here we go. All right. Well, since uh, you know what, I'll give it. I'll give it up to to Darian for. Uh, for wearing his shoes, that's the first time somebody's done that. So why don't we let why don't we let Darian go first? Is that cool, Chris? Yeah, he's holding his leg up. Don't want to have him do that for too long. Okay. <laughs> All right, don't go worry, ahead, Darian. Don't worry. What you got for us, man? Got the good old bread. So we had a conversation not too long ago. Like, what shoe kind of changed it or put, put Jordan put back up. on? We put Jordan back. Remember, remember, similar to the feel of the. Th Threes when they came out, they gave a more, more, you know, class 11s did, did that for my generation. It was, it was like, it started the nicknames of particular, just bread, you know, and so it had those particulars that I remember, I don't know if y'all have it on the West Coast, but Chris might know, like, a model in particular. We, and these are just the... Uh, Shoot. Those are beauties, man. You can see that. You got a lace wearing. right, too. <laughs> always come right with the laces. You know, I always come right with the laces. Super. Look at that, man. Lace correctly. You saw that, John? Yeah, lace patrol. Boom. Lace patrol, man. Lace police over here. Fuck. <laughs> that, that's what you get. All right. Fire. So some Jordan 11s for the child, his childhood dreams. Chris, that is a sneaker that was recently featured in the video. Thanks to you. Yeah, so this is the LeBron 8 Low Miami Night. Um, growing up, I mean, I'm only 20. I just turned 24 in September. Um, I didn't see, like, Jordan play. Like, LeBron was my Jordan. But what got me first into sneakers was, um, like, like, the rap scene. I'm not a huge into rap anymore, but Wale, uh, fellow DC guy just like Darian, um, he was wearing, like, all the Nike basketball heat. And I remember he was wearing these like in a concert and there's like a picture like sticks out in my head of him rocking these. And these just came out this past year, but this is the 2011 pair that was like super hard to get for the longest time and super expensive. Um, and then they came back out and now they're like not worth much, but this is the 2011 pair of the Miami night low eights, just a super sick colorway. And I have one of these ever since I was just, like in middle school, listening to Wale Fire. Yeah. Dope. I like them. Lowe's. Yep. Yeah. OG. 2011. There you go. Something you don't see every every, every battle. I was going to say every day. Yeah, definitely. How old are you again, Chris? How old are you again? 24. Yeah. Two, four. The two different sides of things. Like, you know. Uh, He's a little yeah. shit, bro. 24. Dude, they say when style. I was 24, I was like, when, hey, look, when I was 24, I, I really thought I was pretty fucking smart, but I look back at it, and I was a fucking idiot at 24. I, was a I mean, dumb I was man. dumb, bro. Yeah. Dumb. I was yeah. making some bad decisions at 24 years old. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely wasn't but, drinking jerky. So, so you get, you're doing pretty good. <laughs> you're doing pretty yeah, good saying, at 24. <laughs> you're definitely more hydrated as a 24-year-old than I was, I'll tell you that. You have to. because yeah, I would be hydrated yeah, as a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Shout out. Shout out to uh, who's, who's in the comments right now. Hey, shout out to Water. And also, guys, don't forget to vote. You do that by typing the round number plus their emoji. Chris has got the rose emoji. And my guy, Darian, has got the ninja emoji. So put round one plus the rose emoji for Chris, round one plus the ninja <laughs> emoji for Darian. You know what? This is the final stream. I'm going to read some comments, man. I'm not going to rush to do this. Um, That's right. Take Facebook Facebook user says Christopher Gerald, come on man, dream bigger. Damn. <laughs> dream some hate. Sheesh. Uh, 
Aaron says, I'm late because I was playing God of War, <laughs> but I'm in here. Hey, I appreciate you, bro. Uh, let me see who else is here. Jonathan's still the youngest kid in the stream for life. Jonathan was born in like 20, what? You were born in what, 20, 2012? <laughs> <laughs> Can you vote? Uh, it was uh, 2001. 2001, something like that. It's close. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Uh, Max is rolling with Chris on this one. He says, uh, Air Jordan 11s are dope, but I need to see something new, something different. Uh, let me see. You don't, uh, like, the, the you don't, you don't like my dream? Wow. Wow. Okay. Hey, it's all good. It's all good. Let me see. Um, it's <laughs> Yeah, it's not that bad, Jonathan. Your audio is a, it's decent. Don't worry about it. We I, we can't we don't have I can't take any more chances on it. Just it's not too bad. It's yeah, better good. than some of the other. Yeah. Uh looks like Amy's gone with Darian and people are just Dang. doing their due diligence and voting. So <laughs> why don't we take it over to the next round? First, I got to uh get rid of Amy's comment. Okay. <laughs> Round two, a new category, some fresh categories for the final championship sneaker battle. And um, you want to go over this? It's a fun one. Yeah, sure. It's I mean, it's self-explanatory grocery run. So basically, you're 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 go getters. You're you're fucking the sneakers that are just by the door. And you can I guess you can call them your beaters or maybe I don't know, maybe you shop at Costco like me. So you got to have something comfortable on. I don't know. You know. That's that's up for you to interpret, but basically the shoe that you would wear on a long or short grocery haul. So the grocery run category, a new category for our uh, sneaker battle tournament here. All right. So is everybody ready? I'm good. You're good? Okay. Darian, you good? I'm good. He's good? All right. So here we go. Three, two, one. Show us your grocery store shoes. <laughs> Yo, oh, are those Vomeros? Damn. All right, you got my attention now, man. Okay, so Darian went first last time. Chris, go ahead, dude. You got some recent heat on. Yeah, so this is the Nike general purpose shoe. Um, I like going to Trader Joe's. Tom Sachs? Yeah, Tom Sachs, uh, general purpose shoe. Um, I like going to Trader Joe's and, like, I don't know. When I put these on, like all like the hipsters are like, damn. And then some of the moms are like, damn. So this is what I wear <laughs> all the time. Like you can see I got a nice little scuff mark in them. Like these are these are by the door. Sit there, slip them on. Pretty comfortable. New shoe, but definitely my uh, my grocery run shoe, my Trader Joe shoe. Fire. I, I I went for those and I did not did not get them. So I'm jealous that you have them. Um did you get the, like, although, I'm pretty sure what? the reseller not that bad. Yeah, did you get them at Kohl's? Nah, eBay. You got them off eBay. Of course you did. Yeah, I'll tell you, you know, I heard, this is what I heard from doing some uh, some market research, all right? Because you guys know I'm a businessman. You know that, right? Yeah. We, we, of course. Of course. I heard, I, about your money. I heard, I heard that Trader Joe's, their, their target audience, their target customer, you ready for this? Is educated like health conscious, uh, food educated, poor people. How do you feel about that? Ooh, yeah, that's probably <laughs> makes sense. I need, I need to put that in mind. That describes me perfectly. Yeah, that is <laughs> definitely that is definitely not mad at it. I'm a little disappointed <laughs> myself, but um, I just thought that was now, the funniest shit because it's just so true. Butter. I can't we get cookie butter now without feeling away oh thanks a lot <laughs> oh you got some vomeros absolutely so, so my counterpart on the Aaron part to me it was a couple of holes in it and and i'll fill them in as a particular so Aaron shoes you don't go to ebay first off um, um <laughs> that is the last place you go for Aaron shoes unless you are you know, a spoiled little brat, you know, you can just do those type of things and just, oh, these 
you that <laughs> hardly anyone can get. So I can run errands and no big deal. I'm gonna tell you meanwhile what an errand shoe is. COVID, when it first was going crazy with sales, they were the re most ridiculous sales. For the price I got them, I got them for $75 off of Nike with a discount. And there you go. Own a pair of them, and you want to see how big? Look at the, the like these, the depth, like the texture of them. But these, these are by far, and it's rare you say this with Nike, by comfortable shoe that I own. That's yeah. why they're my Aaron shoe. I, they just <laughs> does that not give Aaron? Does the, the laces <laughs> not give? Aaron? I Yo, I, I I'll be, to those are about. the most comfortable Nike shoes ever made for me. They are comfy. For sure, I I got yeah. I I got mine too on sale off like Soul Links during the pandemic too. Oh, look at us, regular old guys. Yeah, you know, just pull on. How about you, was... Chris? Someone else put your pants on for, for you? <laughs> Probably so. <laughs> Sheesh! Man, Shots Darren got a fired. house plant. I, I don't know if that's as poor, bro. House plants are that's some rich people shit, right there, bro? Some fucking. Yeah. Uh, who, Darren? Yeah, Darren's got house plants. I I grew those. Yeah, that's some rich people shit. I grew those plants with my bare hands. <laughs> He's about uh, aesthetics, so... guys. Let's no. read some comments. We got thirteen people up in here. Uh, let's see. Um. So Channel Chilltown said the OG bronze all the way. So he's rolling with you, Chris. Um, let me see. <laughs> Jazz Crew says the cruise runners. <laughs> I don't know what that means, dude. Um, people are just okay, voting. Nike shoe. Oh, uh, Aaron Aaron Preacher says okay. So actually having them on foot gets a bonus point. Yeah, that was kind of uh, I don't know, man. That was kind of very strategic by Darian to do that. Um, let me see. Give me two seconds. Let me put my next shoe on. Christopher is a mother snatcher oh, with, I don't with, know. Oh. with the GP Tom Sachs. Um, let me see. Amy says, I want to hear though. I want to wear those to Trader Joe's. I'm educated and poor. I fit their profile. So far. Yes. Uh, let me see. Uh, Pesh says, shout out to, to Trader Joe's. Shout out to Trader Joe's. Every once in a while, you know. I'd rather go to like hey, fucking. Joe's be having a buy. Yeah, it's all right. You know what I mean? I, it's okay. I try not to. Go oh, you much. must not be educated enough. Or nah, both. <laughs> I want to. I literally, dude. I used to go to Food for Less. That was the best. Oh, what did I do there? Oh, I think Jonathan dropped. It's all good. Those are Nikes for people who like New Balance. <laughs> Says Colin. Yo, don't knock it till you try it, bro. You get some get some Vomero fives. There's some fire colorways that are gonna be dropping this year. Have you seen the ones there's, that are gonna be dropping? Like the, like a sesame pair? Yeah, there's like a sesame pair. There's like a baby blue one. They just they look so the blue one, fire. A red pair. I want the blue and a red pair. Man. Yeah, have you seen the new ones that are gonna that are gonna drop? Then oh, I'll send them you. to me after. I will. I will. They're they're <laughs> incredible. I want all of them. Uh, see, Brandon knows what's up. He says, Walmart over Trader Joe's any day. I need to be inspired, bro. I, I need to go to like Hispanic like uh markets and shit. And then I start like, like oh, I remember this and I'll, I'll buy that. And Trader Joe's is just uninspiring. Um, all right, so guys, place your votes. That was round two. If you'd like to vote for Darian, you put the ninja emoji. If you'd like to vote for Chris, you put the rose emoji. Jonathan, we good? And that was King Chris Max. Jonathan, can you hear me? Jonathan. <laughs> Put your hands up if you can hear us. All right, so Jonathan can't. He can, I get, yeah, maybe he yeah. can't hear us. Um, oh, okay, okay. There it is. I, uh, yeah, I can hear you. Is your, okay, cool. <laughs> All right, dude. No worries. Hey, yeah. uh, he gets a. he. Jonathan, he gets a get out clause because he's actually on vacation in hawaii in a car mm -hmm. so uh, let me see so let's go on to round number three hear yeah we yeah, can hear we you, can hear you. No. yeah you sound like a like a hostage on cnn but <laughs> if if t-pain uh, oh. was a hostage if t-pain was a hostage yeah if t-pain was a hostage 
All right. Um, okay, you got all green bars now, Jonathan. So you should be good. All right, we're we're this next round. This next category is a something that I usually say for the end of it, but since this is the final uh, battle, let's just get it out of the way, man. I bet you ain't got these. I bet you ain't got these. So basically, the pair of sneakers that you feel like nobody else on this sphere that this planet has no one within a fucking 500 mile radius has these pairs of sneakers so i bet you ain't got these and guys everybody there's 11 people watching if you guys could just like react with some fire emojis or something some hearts so we can get some engagement on the post and more people in the group see it that'd be awesome so darian are you ready i'm ready just stretching these oh. legs all right uh, all right, Chris, you good? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Show us what you got. Boom. Okay. So what? Okay, so who went first last time? Chris? I did. Chris so. did. Okay. It looks like what? Are those KDs, Chris? I'll tell you later. Just let him okay. know. All right. That was the 20. That was those Jordans. Bullshit. <laughs> right, you go you go ahead darian go ahead all right so yeah i know usually i had 17 usually this is usually it was my round for the 17 but i was threatened by aaron ever show that shoe again <laughs> or <laughs> no point it said you gotta it is retired earlier my good, good man brian he knows me well the aesthetics of things and the details, which we have that in common. And, you know, that white mountaineer, the, like that buff who's there, instead of the lace. Who give you the best lace situation, Brian? Who give you those? the best lace situation? <laughs> i never even seen those. Those are crazy. That's some futuristic Look shit. At the material, that hoop, that white mountaineer and hoop right there. Uh, see the three stripes. Crazy and shoes. Wanna... That's the shoes that they're wearing. In, uh, th th that's the shoes that they're going to be wearing in Mars. Right there. Oh, as high as when I we... am, I'm over there. When we get that's to Mars, that's what that's what people are going to be rocking. <laughs> Crazy shoe. What are those called? Uh, what is it? LXCon. A uh, white mount mountaineer. It's a collab. With with white Adidas? mountaineer. Yeah. Dope. There's I'm a, pretty sure. There's several other ways though for it. The blue pair is nice, but these these are not one I got during COVID. Also, it, it was uh, the forties about four hundred. Before when I got these, I got these at retail price. Crazy. Those are crazy. Chris, what what you got for us? So. Uh, this is the Nike Revis One, uh, Darrell Revis's like training shoe. Uh, but what makes this pair special is it's a sample for the University of Oregon football team. Um, so you have like the, the yellow sole uh, on the inside. There it says Ducks behind the tongue. Go Ducks! See the sample tag in there, um, and then uh, on the other one it says different things. But uh, for the team, it says like Win the Day. That's their logo um or that's like their motto um so yeah this is the the nike revis one made for the university of oregon's football team nobody got them except the I oregon know. football team but yeah and me never seen those before crazy I like the revis those. is a great shoe like it's so comfortable like it's a great shoe great 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 shoe uh they don't make those anymore do they no this came out in 20 this was the season of or they shouldn't make it anymore. I was in high school, like 2011, maybe. Shit. I want to say. Old man, those are old. Yeah, some old pairs of sneakers. All right, give it up for Chris. Give it up for Darian. That was round number three. Don't forget to place your votes if you'd like to vote for Darian or uh, Chris. I'm sorry, you're gonna want to do the the rose emoji. So round three plus the rose emoji if you'd like to vote for Darian. Round three plus the ninja emoji. Jonathan, how you doing over there? We're just checking in on you, man. Two 
He looks like a rest in peace shirt. He looks like a rest in peace shirt. Hey, he's committed, bro. I appreciate Jonathan. Someone screenshot this soft t-shirt, please. Or memorial <laughs> program. Or memorial program. Screenshot this. All right, so let me read some comments, see if I can find some good ones. Uh, let's see. Let me see. Uh, okay, so uh, Aaron says this is a lot tougher than I thought it was. Um, uh, no, uh, no, Jonathan, no one can hear you. Uh, let me see. Brandon says, I totally appreciate Darian's fucked up audio. Wouldn't be official without it. His audio is pretty good this time. It's a little, lo it's a little low in volume, but it's pretty good. Jonathan is the one with the bad audio. Just just jo just leave and then rejoin again, Jonathan. Um, Jazz Crew says, cool sneakers. He's voting for uh, my guy, Darian. And uh, let me let me see. What else we got in here? I'm hanging with... Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm hanging with you guys instead of watching the Sixers game. Appreciate it, bro. Hey. Who, who are they playing anyway? Chris, do you know? No? No. Um, He's from Philly. He's supposed to be. I'm a Knicks fan. Oh, that's right. Ooh. Come on, dude. You can be a Knicks fan for you from Philly, bro. Not Philly. You got Doc Rivers, Joel. You can be a fucking Knicks fan. All right, so so uh, hey, Colin's asking, showing... where's the Panda Dunk video? What? Rooting for the Knicks. He's showing his stage. Yeah, bro. You gotta you gotta vote for Philly, dude. That's your neighborhood. Those dude, the people you sell cars to are Sixers fans, bro. I know. I tell them I'm a Sixers right. fan. Right. Come on, man. Let's go, man. Jonathan. Yeah, how's that? Uh Aaron Okay, he's <laughs> it's like a, he, like a three out of ten. Like a three out of ten, but we're here. Uh, Jazz Crew says they're playing the Hawks. Shit, they might lose. All right. <laughs> is it me or is is Darian's screen weird? It's fine on my end. I think it might be you. <laughs> it's a uh, Jonathan screen that's weird. Jonathan, you're good, dude. Yeah, 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 we're good. Oh, you're sounding great now. Thank God. Hopefully, it stays that way. Yeah. And it says, "Nah, hey. I'm a Knicks fan too." Are you originally from New York? Because if you're not, then I don't know, man. All right. <laughs> I'm enough talking shit. Sorry. Let's move it on to the next round, guys. Round number four. A fun one. Uh, a one that both of you guys are very passionate about collecting, and that is your favorite collab sneaker. Break it down, Jonathan. Okay, so... Sneaker, you already know. So there's no, all right, no need for me to explain that. Right, hundreds and hundreds of collab sneakers. So, gentlemen, pick your favorite. Let's get this thing rolling. In three, two, one, show us what you got. Oh, we got some fire collabs up in the freaking sneaker enthusiast Facebook group. You know what I'm saying? Drop some fucking emojis. Chris pulled out. Who went first last time? Chris, right? Or Jarian? Darian, Darian went first last time. So, Chris, Darian, you have the floor, my friend. So, this is the Ama Minier Jordan 3. Um, truthfully, there's not many shoes that I'm ever like, oh, like I need these shoes no matter what. Um, I really like this collab. Um, like, my mom raised me as a single mom, and um, James Whitner had like that same sort of connection. Uh, so, I really liked like the whole story behind it, like a women's first release. Um, I just thought that was great. And like I said, there's not many shoes I'm ever like, I need these. And I got them early, paid way more than retail, but way less than what they're going for now. I just think this is just like a beautiful shoe. I love threes, all the details on them, quilted liner, Nike Air, the color on them. Like they're just such a well done collab. I love the story on them. Um, like all the little messages on the back, like such a well done release. Uh, just a great shoe for sure. Oh, those, those are fire. I wish I wouldn't have slept on the on the drop. All right, Darian. <laughs> oh, Darian with the on feet looks, bro. 
Look at that, man. What you got for us, Darian? <laughs> bang, bang. <laughs> That's, y'all know the game. Oh, you can't keep, keep coming with the same same old. Yeah. You can't keep coming with entertainment. You got to give people a show. They came here. They, they, stopped. they were loyal Sixers fans to come watch us put on a show. <laughs> we get someone in the background with a great Kool-Aid in the back on 22-year-old that's it's giving me serial killer activity. So if, if you do vote this person, serial killers, are we okay with serial killers? I mean, thieves. You can be a thief killers, though. Don't, don't, don't do it, children. So... <laughs> we got those good old concepts here with the air max and brian what do i love what do i love brian details yes and what do you love laces oh my thing for you let me show you lace uh, th those sneakers so those sneakers those ones do you yeah, they... what brian which laces do you want that day I think if I was like, gonna go with those, I'd have what, to. What, you got to match it with the tongue. Oh yes, all day we here, we here. Look at the details of that. And no, I got these straight from the source, not snap from. I mean, I go in there too, but you know, sometimes the sneaker guys talk to you because you are a loyal, dedicated fan of your local team. Anywho, <laughs> or. Spectacular shoe. Damn, man. I really okay. slept on those. Yes. Those are nice. Fucking hell. Um, Two of Colin's favorite shoes. Both are our shoes. Two of Colin's favorite. The, uh, the Amy says, damn, Darian's. Can, just, can, everybody in the chat. She says that his screen is all squished and I couldn't even tell what he was showing. Oh, no. Can can you, I can see his screen clear. fine? Does what? What about everybody else? Can you guys let me know? I mean, uh, let's try doing it. That makes a difference. Don't, yeah, don't don't mess with Is it that, too much because you know how that goes. Oh yeah, it was looking pretty good. Um, it's, Brandon says laces make Brian warm and fuzzy inside. Yeah, perfectly <laughs> correct laces. That's that's definitely my favorite thing. One of my favorite things. Can we? Um, that was better uh let me see uh amy is, is his uh is his does it look clear now she's it looks like she's she's she, is she i don't know i'm waiting for her comment to pop up um while we wait for amy's comment why don't you guys place your votes that was round number four if you'd like to vote for darian with the concept air max ones you want to do yeah. uh round number four plus the ninja emoji and for chris what is I'm on my yay, Jordan 3, the rose emoji. Jonathan, you got anything to say before we move on to the next round? That's funny. I'm sorry. That was funny. Um, Michael Taylor says. You got some hard choice, his, I can say. His screen is as it as a sound. He looks crystal clear and sounds crystal clear to me. Um, yeah, it is squished. It's like there's a bit of a fish eye effect. Uh, I don't know what to do, man. I, we're just going to have to roll with it. Oh, uh, Max says, yay, I can see Darian in 4K now. And Amy says, yes, thank you, Dan. Now I can see your pretty ski mask. There and that's what go. he pulled out. Two fire sneakers, by the way. Two fire sneakers, by the way. Damn, how Dude, can you how come you guys didn't tell us before that he was his screen screen was squished? Whatever, it's all good. Let's move on to the next round, round number five. And uh, Jonathan, he's reporting from Hawaii, so there's a bit of a delay. So Jonathan, break it down. <laughs> all right. I'm going to break it down. So basically, Hobby Lobby. So the shoe that best represents your hobby outside of sneakers. 
So let's say you're you're hella into pizza or some shit. So maybe you might pull out something with a pizza colorway, looking colorway, or I don't know, a Chuck E. Cheese collab or some shit. Who knows? Um, but it looks like, yeah. Sorry, I was reading the chat here. Um, Jonathan, thanks for holding it down, bro. Don't even worry about it. So yeah, we're doing Hobby Lobby. That's the next round. You guys ready? Yeah. Here we go. A shoe that best represents your hobby outside of sneakers. Let me just go ahead and pull up the graphic, and we'll do it in three, two, one. Show us what you got. Oh, all right. We got some Daytonas, and we got who went first last time? Chris did, did. right? Chris went first. Okay, no, so I don't even know what those were. All right, go ahead. You know what? Yeah, Hold can on. You That's can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. What you got for us, Darren? All right. What, what's up? What's up? Can you? <laughs> we can hear you, bro. All we right. can hear you. It's just a delay. Well, go ahead, Darren. Go ahead. Now you're like, how is this a hobby in particular? So a big sports fan, Brian. You see me from time to time post stuff on my stories probably. But, uh, I may be one of the few black NASCAR fans. What? Daytona. So Respect. If Roman is in here, he'll tell you how I've taken a car off of four wheels and put it. So, so I like, we like to go fast. Real fast and then we already <laughs> did you notice the socks i wore the socks too do, i got those we, socks too the details that go with it the collab that go with it so you're in the beautiful once again lady with those accents there damn the mission just so good that tongue that boy and it's just a Beautiful shoe, Eddie. Calm down. Am I excited there? But damn, damn man, I should have got those. God damn it! I think the resale's not too bad, right? No, it's not too bad. I think I'm gonna have to get those next, man. Fuck. I think some other shoes are gonna have to wait. Those are fucking fire, Chris. What you got for us, man? So. This is a brand that honestly was not on my radar. I didn't even know much about. But this is the brand Mizuno. Uh, they make a lot of like athletic shoes, but they do some really cool collabs every once in a while. Um, so my one of my favorite hobbies is like superhero stuff, like uh, Marvel and DC and all that. And this is a collaboration with Bait, and it's kind of hard to see, and Deadpool. Um, and it kind of doesn't really look like Deadpool, but um, I guess it's inspired by like, the neon looks of like the old style. On the insole, you have Deadpool and him riding a unicorn with the Marvel and Bait collab down there. It's just something you don't see. You don't see a whole lot. Um, that's my hobby is like superhero stuff and, and all that. It's something you don't see. Comics. I, yeah, comics. I thought you were going to pull out some Lego shit. No, I don't have any of the Lego Adidas stuff. But I think these are pretty cool. They said not a shoe people really see ever. Definitely not something you see every day. Jonathan, you got anything you want to yeah, add? Yeah, uh, it's both great sneakers, and uh, I'm still trying to hold it down from over here in uh, Honolulu. You feel me? So <laughs> bear with me. <laughs> uh, damn, you're the best, bro. Let me see. Uh, let me see. But after seeing Chris's shoes, I'm about to. You're about to what, bro? <laughs> let me see. Uh, Aaron says another really good round. Who are you guys gonna vote for? Are you guys gonna vote? This is round five. You're gonna vote for Darian, Ninja Aaron. Emoji, Chris. Hold on, Brian. Go ahead. Aaron, you gotta remember it's a other part of the story. Aaron was thinking about selling those. We were at Sneaker Con and I on. And I said, Oh, I'm keeping these because the first time I put put it on, like when you try a shoe on, it didn't look right because it wasn't with the right pair of pants and then tell me as well to keep them i was like you should keep those in so just remember aaron just remember you were there you were there for aaron, it. You, you gotta keep those man do not sell those colin feels otherwise though he says 
it's really hard to vote for new balances. What? And that's when he said, after seeing my shoes, it's easy to. Oh, damn. Okay. I didn't, you put two and two together right there. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Matt says, I bought Joe socks my last trip to Hobby Lobby for two ninety nine. Woo. Fits both hobbies. Oh. <laughs> what? Uh, let me see. Um, let's see. What does Brandon say? I can't dress fly to Hobby Lobby because all the soccer moms try to choose up and I get in trouble with my woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're talking to Hobby Lobby. I just called it Hobby Lobby because that was the category, but that's funny that you shared that. Um, Yeah, it's crazy. I don't, for some, I don't know why, I, you know, whenever I wear sneakers, I, I do feel like, like, especially when I wear dunks, only, only when I wear, the, let me tell you, so I was talking to Colin about this. When I wear my panda dunks, only my panda dunks, like I'll wear like some fucking, some New Balance shit or whatever, some Air Max ninety, the Air Max ninety sevens and Nintendo Switch scores, and I'll get fucking, I'll get compliments from some dudes, right? But I'm telling you, when I wear my panda dunks, so many girls are just like, "Nice shoes," <laughs> like they just they have to say something, like especially younger girls. It's so I don't know, I guess because of TikTok and shit, but. Yeah, I can. I... Ones on too. Did they have dirty? Force ones on too. Do they what? Do they have dirty Air Force ones? Yes. On? Dirty. Yeah, they do. They do actually. Uh oh. Hey, Aaron. <laughs> Aaron clapped back real quick. He said, "I own the original 1600s." I never said you <laughs> did. I just... Poor. Poor. Damn, Please. he got you. Nah. Aaron, forget it. He got you. All right. Since we got how many people were in here? We got 11 people. Uh, We got some of the most creative minds in the damn group, in the group chat right. right now. So why don't you guys go ahead and uh, for some reason, I forgot to load up the graphic. I loaded it up and then I lost it, but it's all good. Audience picks a category. So basically, you guys get to pick what category we're doing next. So it can be uh, just be creative. Jonathan, talk about it a little yeah, bit. Just, Audience picks uh, a category. Uh, everyone can hear me, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, all right. So essentially, audience picks a category, self explanatory, uh, creative with it. Come up with a category you want to see here live in the last final battle of the. Sneaker enthusiast sneaker tournament. So have at it. We'll leave the uh, leave it open for about I don't know, what Brian, a minute, I, two minutes. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're, we're just gonna let this st- uh, until something cool comes up. Um, yeah. Let me see. Yeah. Um. But like, don't give us anything basic. Give us some crazy shit. So have at it. Uh. Yeah. You guys, come on. Uh. Oh, let me oh. see. Jazz Crew says Panda Dunk vibes. Um, I'm about to do a video about the Panda Dunks. Thanks to Colin. I don't know if it was going to be a full, like, long form YouTube channel main video, but probably a short. And I hope it goes viral. Because <laughs> they all own pandas too, self identifying. That's probably true. Um, all right. Can't wait. To- Ooh. Oh, we got. All right. Well. All right. So we're we're only like three comments in, but I already have my favorite one. Favorite holiday inspired sneaker. Can we do that one? Can we hold it oh, down yeah. with those guys? Yeah, yeah. Chris, can you do that? Sure. All right. That's the one we're doing. Shout out to Aaron. Favorite holiday inspired sneakers. You know, it's getting cold outside. Um, they're I'll starting, be right back. Uh, okay. No worries. According to uh, to Amy earlier, she said that she she's already hearing Christmas music over there in Australia. Same here in the U.S. I'm I love Christmas. Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday, but Christmas is is just as good. So man, this is a fit a great category. Favorite holiday inspired sneaker. Jonathan, what's your favorite um what's your favorite Christmas song, dude? To be I pretty much I'll be honest. I, I kind of hate all Christmas. Christmas music. I'll, 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 there's there's an album, I'll give it. Uh, it's funny enough. It's an Alvin and the Chips Christmas uh, music album. 
uh, that my mom used to play when we were kids, but that's about it. That's where I draw the line. I can't stand Mariah Carey. I can't stand all those old jingles and shit. Call me a, call me a Scrooge. Call me a, a bum, but I, I can't do it, man. <laughs> I fucking love it, dude. I love Paul McCartney's Christmas song. I love fucking... Uh, really? Man, there's some really... I love the one that goes like, Christmas time is the time. Da, 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 hey, we, we, I we, like that one. We, we oh, need to get Brian in the studio right now, man. Is, yo, uh, Brandon says Christmas on death row. Yo, I need it. That's a real fucking record, right? That's a Max, real album, I think. Yo, uh, I, uh, yo, uh, yo Max, so, sorry if I bummed you out, man. You said why? Yo, you all hate Christ? Nah, man. It's just I, I don't like Christmas music. It's it's uh, over commercialized. It's annoying as hell. <laughs> Somebody says Christmas is trash or shit. Uh, Christmas in, Hall- in, uh, in Hollis, Run DMC. I got to listen to that. Charlie Brown, Christmas is the shit. Feliz Navidad, Jose Feliciano. Dude, I can't wait to watch all the Christmas movies. Chris, are you back yet? Chris, Chris is thinking real hard about this, but I know what he's going to pull out. It's going to be like a PE or some shit of like a Christmas day sneaker um i know darian's ready and uh yeah oh you, you you're back yeah i'm good uh we were just talking about christmas songs oh nice yeah um all right so uh let's do this bro let's do the countdown darian you good i'm good all right here we go chris your favorite fucking here we go dude Who who who's that talking, Jonathan? Yeah, that's Jonathan. <laughs> Just give us a second, Jonathan. <laughs> give us a oh, second, okay. bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, it, if it's lagging, just uh, uh, if it's lagging, just just take over. Go three, two. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. Here we go. Um, Christmas sneakers or holiday inspired sneakers, however you want to do it. All I want for Christmas is a new pair of sneakers. Three. Two, one. Bing. Let me go ahead and remove this this comment so we can see those sneakers better. But it looks like we've got are, are both of those Kobe's. Yeah. Man, you guys both went for the Kobe's. You guys are a lot alike. My God. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Okay, who went first last time? Darian did, right? I think Darian did, yeah. Okay, John or uh, Chris, hold it down. So before I get into those. Quick uh, little thing. I also have the original Daytona New Balance oh, Kith collabs, the, uh, the 1600s. Uh, but quick thing, it wasn't Daytona, the sp- like the Speedway. It was Daytona, Florida, where Ronnie Feig would take trips to as a kid. Quick thing. But Dang. Kobe 6 Grinch, the whole, this whole tournament and my previous go, go, ahead and, go ahead and change your background color to green real quick. Oh, okay, good call. Uh, where's Ronnie? Let's do it. He's there we, we go. go. A little bit better. There. Look so, at that, man. This whole battle and the my other battles, I've tried not repeating a shoe. I don't have many other holiday themed shoes, but the Kobe Six Grinch, a uh, classic. Red laces, you have to. It doesn't get more better than this, I think, personally. But yeah, sneaker that I've always wanted. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful shoe. Got for retail too. You got it for retail. There you go. Yeah, a little sprinkle at the end right there. Aaron says, Chris taking shots. Uh-oh. Got to stand up for myself a little bit. You know, Darian, Darian ain't afraid. He ain't afraid of the shit talking. Darian, hold it down, man. What you got for us? Is he done? He's done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. He had to go back and it's like, oh, I feel like I lost that one. I, I better dig deep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, we are very similar. And uh, and that to a certain degree, but um, usually when you have that tight fight with, right, there's you need a tiebreaker. Now, remember, <laughs> I've had this hoodie on the whole time. Oh, <laughs> oh, look at so, that! And we're talking about detail. Like, 
talking about Kobe on the battle. I wore this hoodie. This was the first time I wore this, this hoodie. Was the first battle. I didn't wear it again. And, and we were talking about holiday. Max said it earlier. The Grinches are the given for the holiday. It's the given. Sweetheart, this is this is not a given. This that's going to get people's attention. Um, so for the next round, Chris, you to say you had the original of the shoe that helped you with this round because good. I'm in the kitchen, by the way, this time. Um, if y'all didn't notice, I'm in the kitchen this time because uh, I'm cooking. Nigga. Let's, let's hey, how come how, I, I, you you guys, you so you say you guys aren't similar, but both you guys got the red lace choice. What's up with that? No, I said now we are. Sheesh. Both of you guys got the red laces. Um, those are those are fire though. Both of those sneakers are fire. How how do how do those relate to Christmas? You guys got to school me on this one. The ones so, that the, the Christmas shoe he wore. Oh, he wore those on Christmas. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, shit. Good enough, Grinch. man. You that leopard. It's the Kobe round. We should just do a Kobe category next year. That would be dope. Um, I got more coming though. He's got more coming. He said, "Look at that! Oh, oh! oh. You saw that swig?" He said, uh, "This is getting tense." I like it, says Aaron. Well, and uh, one person hydrated and be dehydrated. So we're two different in that way. <laughs> um, you, do hey, anybody know what's up with Lance? I haven't heard from Lance in a minute. How's he doing, man? He's all he's always like keen on like talking shit in in the chat. I talked I heard from talk to him yesterday. He's cool. Got yeah, he's good. Spirits. I checked on him. He in real, real good spirits. Good man. I gotta hit him up for you know. See how his holidays are going. All right. So that was round number six. Audience picks a category. Aaron chose your best holiday sneaker or your favorite holiday inspired sneaker. Um, very cool choices from both of you. Darren, basically, you're giving us a crotch shot right now, fool. Oh yeah. So you might yeah. want to you might want to switch around the camera or something. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next round. But before we go on to the next round, Jonathan, anything you want anything you want to share? Anything you want to add to the conversation? I know there's gonna be delay, but the floor is yours, my friend. Uh he's not there. Yeah. If, so, if you guys can hear me, let me. Ah, shit. <laughs> yeah, we can't hear you, bro. It's all good. I think it's a we're lost going, cause. We're going. Uh, we're going on to the next category, and that is your. The, the, that is hometown hero. A very fun category. Basically, you know what I mean. It could be a sneaker inspired by your hometown. It could be a sneaker inspired by your hometown hero. Um, it can be either of those two. Uh, we've seen some really cool stuff. I remember Adam pulled out some uh, PG 13s or some some Paul George's in a Fresno State colorway once. It might have been Terrence last year, but something like that might be appropriate for this. So, hometown hero, uh, keep in mind Chris is from Philly and my guy Darian is from Chicago. So, I'm from let's see what they pull out. DC. He's from DC. I'm sorry. He's from DC. All right. So, here we go. You guys ready? <laughs> yep. Ready, Darren? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Show us the sneakers you got. Always Boom. holy days. Water beat the guide and some Iversons over there. So, Darren, why don't you go ahead and go first, man? Because I think Chris went first last time, yeah? Yeah. I listen also to the people. Certain things they, they keep going. Certain things I want to remove. So this, you know, so complete the assignment. Like, so hometown hero, me, culturally, we all have different groups. Uh, so Salehi, you know, creating in, in this space, taking the ballots, him and Joe Freshgood, taking it to where they're taking personal side of the home there to me. Then it's the home with this new balance, which the home of a new balance is DC. That is the home of the new balance. 
give you something a little from the old, a little from the new, and that's ASMR. And that this, this really, really good logo, oh, thumbprint. I love his thumbprint. And as I showed you boys yesterday, it came through with all like that those. thumbprint. And I just love this. Like, yeah. So beautiful. Hey, you're doing a good job keeping them clean. Absolutely. Absolutely. Fucking nice. Those are nice. Fucking beautiful shoe. Chris, what you got? So, like uh, Brian said, I do live outside of Philly. I'm like 30 minutes from the city. So, this is kind of like a little twofer. Um, being from Philly, talked about Kobe. Uh, this is the Kobe. It's kind of hard to see with the lights, but this is the Kobe Bryant Reebok question. This is kind of like a double dip of a hometown hero uh, because the question is the famous Iverson shoe. Uh, Iverson being a Sixers. Although I'm not a huge Sixers fan, I mean, you can't go anywhere without, like, if you see somebody wearing a Sixers jersey, nine times out of ten, it's going to be an Iverson jersey because he's just, like, the be probably the best Sixer of all time, I'd say. But uh, not to get too crazy with this, but there's also a Kobe sample, too. All right, it's, a, it's a collab with Packer that they did to connect Kobe wearing the question uh, and it's like free agency period. And this is a really cool camera pack with a LeBron, which I got downstairs as well, too. Um, so this is like a little twofer of a hometown hero. Kobe growing up in Philly, me growing outside of Philly, and Iverson being a Philly guy all in one shoe. That was kind of a cool shoe. I remember when you scripted that, uh, scripted that into the uh, – I forget what video you scripted it into. The, did you write – you wrote the, the, the last Kobe one, right? All, yeah, the, the, yeah most, the two, two of the three Kobe videos. Yeah, when you when you wrote those, it was so hard to like depict that on the screen, like because it was like, oh, it's like Le a, pa a Packer collab with uh, Kobe and LeBron, and it's also Reebok, and it was like oh, that was really challenging for me. But it's a I, didn't, I didn't know you had a pair; those are dope. Yeah, and I wore them a, a good amount too. Actually, I wore these on the day Kobe died uh, with my Lakers jersey that I have. Um, but Shit. yeah, really cool shoe. I'm gonna give dope. props. But can I say one thing real quick? I want to give props to that. Fits you perfectly. The shoe fits you absolutely perfectly. What I can't. I'm waiting for the ball to drop. Since we're voting now, what he failed to leave out is the fact is a Philly kid who likes the Knicks is a Kobe Bryant Lakers fan with a Philadelphia. Shoe. So, I mean, you, he got to remember his age, man. He's 24. So, oh, last person that young lost their connection in Hawaii. <laughs> so, I, un <laughs> I understand. There's this whole thing with sports is you got to root for the neighborhood, dude. It's just the way it is. It's, it's always been like that. I don't know why these days people are like, oh, I'm like a LeBron fan. I just, I'm a fan of wherever LeBron goes and shit. I'm just like, dude. I must say, I'm going to defend myself a little bit. I've been a Knicks fan since Tracy McGrady was on the Knicks. Now, I know it's not a terribly long time, but most people don't even know Tracy McGrady played for the Knicks. I didn't know that. I went through all the phases. I don't want to hear any any slander. I can get into that later, but not the time for that. But, yeah, Knicks fan, but live in Philly, and Kobe. I mean, it's Kobe. How can no, you not no. like Kobe? Grew up in Philly, bro. Well, hey, are, are, you, are, you an, are you an Eagles fan? Next category. Let's go. Oh, uh, my God. Football. Hey, oh, I got to know, bro. Are you an Eagles fan? No, I don't watch football. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, Talking hella shit. Yeah, this is, dude, this is, this is fun. We're talking shit. Whatever. We can take I'm it. Gonna say, I think it's pretty one-sided, but. <laughs> dude, you guys can take it. Come on, man. You guys can take it. We're just he talking did. shit. He conceded. I appreciate that. Chris I with the rare too, too. Facts, my hood says Jazz Cruz. Yo, it's spicy in here, <laughs> says Aaron. And that was round number seven. If you guys like to place your votes, Jonathan, are you here or what, bro? Like, I see, I see yeah, JR on the. Can you, you, hear? Can you guys hear? Yeah, what's cracking? Yeah, cool? yeah it's just uh, since the the video is all back to you know, like all off, I might as well just use my audio. Okay, you're in, you're in Hawaii right now, hanging out with us. I think that's you're great. Yeah, you're doing a good job, dude. 
We appreciate you. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're trying. <laughs> so is AT and T. You know. <laughs> John, this is straight up. This is the this is the championship battle, fool. All right, here we go. We're going to ra- we're going to do round number eight. Jonathan, can you see? You can see everything, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see. All right, hold it down on this next round. Break it down for the people. Did, did it go up yet? Or okay, there you go. Yeah, pair with the craziest story. So pretty self-explanatory. It's, this is gonna be the pair that has your craziest story. Could have been how you um, got this sneaker. It could be, you know, maybe you were in some crazy event with this sneaker. You know. So gentlemen, get those pairs ready. Let's get this thing rolling in three, two, one. Show us what you got. Bang. I see some LeBrons. I see some Wilderspoons. Two very awesome shoes. Who has the floor first, Chris? I think I do. All right, dude, go ahead. So not to make my whole life story too crazy now. So as it's already been established and heavily criticized, I grew up outside of Philly. But for college, I went up to Toronto. And as you can see with the Blue Jays hat. um, And when I was up there, so long story short, I voted for these shoes when there was the whole campaign. I was up in Canada. Mind you, it was the Canadian winter in March for Air Max Day when these released. I waited outside in the Canadian winter outside of, I think it was livestock up in Canada. And I had an economics class later that day. So I remember I waited outside. I was two, I was out there for probably six or seven hours, found out I was two people late to the to the park. Oh, so I, didn't, I wouldn't get a shoe in any size, too, a little bit too late to that. Went back to my class, tried on release, couldn't get them. Fast forward to the summer semester, I get a random notification on my sneakers app that says, and I pulled it up right here, that the Sean Witherspoon, and this is months, months, months later, that says, oh, the Sean Witherspoons are now in your cart ready for purchase. And on a random day, I was at work. I was working like a cashier at the time, counting the tills, and I get the notification on my phone. I'm like, I'm freaking out. Did the next day checkup. And again, this is six months after. I think this was in August. So that's about so five weird. months later, end up getting them for retail. Um, I think that's pretty great. What the hell? Yeah, that is wild, man. Craziest pickup. Insane. I think. So, the, the, the sneaker gods are watching over you. Yeah. That's how it went down. Wild. Let me see. Uh, looks like Chris, like Jonathan, dropped out again. But uh, Darian, what do you uh, what do you got for us, my guy? All right. So you know, both of us gonna keep it pretty. You know, these are shoes for us both, but you know, it's it's more of the story, as Chris just pointed out. And for me, uh, the story goes first off. It's gonna take some people back, depending on my age group, probably Brian. You'll understand a little bit more. So when these first drops released, they were just Miami only. And um, at that time, I, I remember colors of this way. These colorways were not, not popular. They were not a the bright, not a popular shoe at all. Especially on a basketball shoe, it was mm-hmm. not a popular thing. Test to this if he's in here or any time that I had looked up. A flight ticket to Miami because back then they were about $110. The resale back then was probably 300 but that was kind of high back then. It was pretty high. Uh-huh. And so I remember they were just called before South Beaches preheats. For these in particular, I was like, okay, okay, I'll catch a flight down here because I used to check what pool collector. I used to check soul collector filter that bitch out and look for it particular to, on the marketplace neither one and then maybe a, a few weeks later you're like oh is that a crazy story no the crazy story is, is when the shoe dropped me roman friends all in the suburban went to uh prince george's county mall uh, they had to take the secret security way in to get in person comes up out Goes through to say your size, your size, and at, at that time, I felt like I wore an eight 
I remember hearing the lady say, uh, eight and a half, we're all sold out. Eight, we're all sold out. Again, the fuck out that line that I've been standing in for that whole uh-huh. damn time. So they say, we got a nine. One, that's the first time I found out I wore a nine. That was when I also, <laughs> absolutely. That's when I also, my friend get his shoe. He didn't get his shoe because it sold out because I was. <laughs> oh shit! He was, but he was standing. Is, he was right behind you. He was right behind me. <laughs> and then the other part. That's fucked up. The, if we're paid, hey, we all get a uh, have checking accounts. My checking account, all I needed was a dot money in there. I did not have money. They cleared it because there was a dot in my account. So I only got the issues <laughs> this is some happened to get me to, to this point and Shit, i played man. retail that's what's up the og ones that's crazy yes does your friend hate you i don't we're not friends no more so uh, <laughs> oh, i'm picking that up Legit. that's fucked that up makes- that's crazy can you imagine that you're standing in line and you're like, oh, you know, my homie got the last size. I got I got your size. My bad. All right. Let me read. Uh, it looks like Jonathan's just gone. He's uh, I don't know where he went. Um, Let me see. Darian, show. Darian doing way too much for some bronze. <laughs> I don't know. I think that might be Eugene. Taylor. That feels like Michael uh, Taylor. But those were huge back then. Um, Hell yeah. Those are a big deal. Um, I can't vote for no Miami or LeBron says Colin. Oh. And uh, uh, Colin says Chris is competitive. I love it. He is. He's really competitive. It says the dude. He needs to be. This is the championship battle, guys. Come on, man. You can't be soft. Let's go. Uh, let's see. Uh, who, who's uh, Max says he's doing round eight with Chris. He says Sean Witherspoon is one of my favorite designers. He's the king of color brock blocking in my opinion that would be ronnie feig i would say the king of color blocking uh my guy went in for them bronze says facebook user and About the story. Another, another really good round my name is not showing no you have to you have to um click the link in the description and it'll show all right so go ahead and place your votes that was round number what what round was that guys eight that was round number eight. Bear with the craziest story. Put round eight plus the, the rose emoji and put round eight plus the ninja emoji if you'd like to vote for Darian. And then for Chris, the rose emoji, round eight. All right, let's move on to the next round, and that is going to be round number nine. And this one is kind of up to interpretation for the contestants. So adopted pair that nobody wanted. So basically, it can be a pair that you literally adopted from a homie family member or something or it could also be like a pair that i don't know like when i mean my brother used to go to ross all the time there'd be like some sneakers there on sale and they just keep going further and further and further on sale like over six months and nobody would pick them up so it it can be either that it can be either one of those two things um so be creative with it and um i can see what some people have ready to pull out and it's crazy i'm letting you know right now so here we go Darren, you ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. Be ready, motherfuckers. Boom. Looks like we got some uh, airships. And Darren, looks like you got on some what? Nick's fours. Some Nick's fours. Who went for? You did, I, right? Yeah. All right, Darren, go ahead. So, once again, like. Like I said, I work on the assignment and the stories of things going forward. So when I we came to you, I think when we were having this topic about what's a adopted pair, which was a great question, great answer. These pair I got helping a ex move. She was moving her current ex out. So. Uh-huh. She gave me his shoes. 
Shoes, which was at that time, Rev. <laughs> and these are my adopted pair. <laughs> what did she say? She said, "Go ahead and take the shoes. I don't, I don't want, I, got, I don't want nothing to do with them." <laughs> I got, oh, and some Kyrie's. Damn, that's crazy. That sucks for that guy. Damn. Have, this one was have you? Though. This that's that this this one was what i said this one wasn't a friend i, I didn't do a friend wrong this time right i right, didn't right, do a friend right, i see wrong. you still adopted him from a from a fellow sneakerhead though who unfortunately his girl <laughs> i've heard my brother david he's he also um he told me that he he cops a, a pair of sneakers i uh, like a a bunch of jordans like it was like six pairs of jordans like expensive as jordans from some girl who's like man that they, they, they just broke up or he just went to prison or some shit he was going to be in there for like 10 years and he was just like well i'll give you 100 for all of them she's like yeah go ahead and it was like some jordan sevens some fucking sixes some elevens like some expensive shit so he came up uh chris what do you got for us dude so this is the airship um i kind of took this category like in a interesting way because for long, like nobody really wanted this shoe well let me crack that myself. Hey, can you make your light oh. red? Oh, sure. Just I would love. To, I would just love to see that. Does Thanks, dude. There we go. So oh, look at that. Uh, Nike Airship. So the brand, like Jordan, didn't want people to know about this shoe. Like this is the actual shoe that Jordan got banned. And coming to release date, like this isn't the shoe that like a lot of people were had their really their eye on. Mm-hmm. Even Nike, they didn't even like. I don't. I didn't see like a release on the sneakers app or anything for them. I have no clue how they came to retail. Um, this is another eBay purchase, but they were going for a little bit over retail. And to me, like this shoe is pretty cool if it's first time being retro in so many years. Um, and to get it a little over retail for a shoe that's so historic that the brands also didn't really want, I just adopt it. Like this is cool, and materials are so nice. Like this is like a slept on shoe for this year as well too. Like materials are just like buttery leather. Buttery around the collar. I, I just think this is think kind of the a, best releases shoe. of the year. I think it's one of the best releases of the year. Those those are amazing. I would love to have those. And like I said, they're not like for you can probably find them for retail, which is kind of crazy for is like the Alma Meniers too. Like they're not they're like although it's a super limited release, like they're not crazy for a shoe that only has a couple hundred pairs made. But the leather is like you can kind of see like the cut of the leather. It's just it's a really well made shoe. And nobody really cared about them. Really, it's kind of sad at the end of the day. But I think these things are awesome. Um, yeah, those are. I uh, that's the first time I've seen a pair of those in a battle. Those are fire. Um, let me see. I just got some some comments to reply to. <laughs> Brian, can you change your light? Can you all? Uh, what does it say, Brian? Uh, Colin says, Brian, can you change your light every round to the color of the shoes? That's right, man. How much better did that look? I mean, it, it, I, I don't know, man. I, I, it, was, it, it just annoys me when it's a different color. Brian always changing Chris's lights and shit. Chris, you got to get ahead of that. Um, it looks like Jazz Cruz is rolling with Darian on this round. And uh, it looks like Max is rolling with you. Chris, he says, I need them from GOAT. And as Amy, Amy, this is round nine. And, um, <laughs> Facebook users laughing his ass off at Darian's story. That is hella funny. <laughs> Darian came up. Um, shit, I thought I was looking at some Doran Becker three says uh, Tuan, because um, I was because they do look like Doran Beckers from from kind oh, of ways. They do. Uh, let me see. I camped out. Oh, Aaron says I camped out for them for the the Cavs Knicks fours. They came out the same day as the KD four Aunt Pearls. If you got the, if you did, if you ended up getting the uh, the Nick fours, you you did right. Because uh, I'm not a big fan of the Aunt Pearls, to be honest. Um, looks like. Uh, sorry, I wanted to read one more comment. And those airships are super hard to get at retail, says Aaron. All right, so. Let me see. Oh, damn. My name doesn't pop up. Now, you you have to click the link in the description, and I'll be able to see your name and your profile picture. All right. Enough with that. Thanks, everybody, for voting. We're going to move it on to the next round, which is 
uh, round number 10, right? Round yeah. number 10. And it's a new category. And, you know, there's a little clause here because Chris is, is a lot younger than uh, some of the people here. So he 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 gets to do... Um, I changed my thing. You're good. Are you sure? Yeah, I got. Okay. I got. All right, so we're doing East. We're doing East Bay memory. So he he has a concept of eBay, East Bay. He didn't grow up in that mm-hmm. era. We were gonna let him do Slime Magazine memories, but I know Darian for sure had East Bay's in the back of class, like most of us did um, when we were in school. So yeah, basically a pair of sneakers that would have been in East Bay back then. And you remember seeing it in East Bay, and you were like drooling over it, and then you 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 have it now. So I just thought it'd be a fun category. Um, so why don't you guys get your sneakers ready, and we'll do the countdown in three, two, one. Show us your East Bay memory sneakers. All right. So uh, looks like we got. I see some Barclays, and I see some foam posits. Um, Chris, you get to go first. Darian went first last time. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Hold it down. So, like Brian already said, I'm young, only 24. Um, and to me, East Bay, and actually Jonathan and I were talking about this before we went live, that like East Bay to us is like where you saw like hyper dunks and like some cleats. Um, <laughs> so what, and that's like what we see it now. But what I was thinking is like, okay, what if like I grew up 10 years ago or 15 years prior? And I was like, okay, what would I see in a magazine that would really catch my eye? And these are it. Like this is like a classic shoe for one. Um, but then to, I would just think if I'm seeing this as like a kid, like in a magazine, I'm like, oh shit, what is that material? Why is the price tag so expensive? Like it's such a polarizing shoe and a classic. Um, also I did try to make lights blue. My camera kind of sucks, but honestly, like, this is a shoe that would like, if I saw it in a magazine, I'd be like, oh shit. Like, what is the deal with these? So that's why. I picked- oh, there were, those were definitely in East Bay. Definitely. Well, uh, it's crazy. I love those shoes. Um, I think they're, there is, I think they're going to be like huge in the next few years again. Sure. Yeah. Um, let me see. Darian, Darian pulled out some interesting shoes too, that, that those are like, Darian has got some like straight up East Bay classics right there. So, um, you have, you have movies that are my true story. And then you have movies that are based on the true story. You know, because I was actually he, he wasn't there, and but he probably will live long. long he'll probably live longer than me. But oh yeah, Chris is gonna live longer than you. I mean, do you see him staying hydrated? Water. I'm surprised he doesn't. Have- so, so, in this case, <laughs> it was back to figure out what to do by looking up old East Bay. You know, and I remember back then. As you remember, Brian, the big thing was basketball shoes. Yeah, that was the whole thing, basically. Thing. <laughs> yes, and all these PEs came out on East Bay regularly. Mm-hmm. Like they were like no way possible for like a team shoe. Every couple way there, they had deals with them. They got an East Bay that was usually first, first most out first description. Now first piece of the East. East Bay in the mail before, before there was like big internet. You went with your East Bay, and, mm-hmm. and you, you see one silhouette, then another one, and they, they all set like this one silhouette, was silhouette, and they all were like shit, like $69.99. And you slept on them galore. Like, oh my god, yeah. to, I never bought I never bought anything from there because, like, I, I mean, I would dream about it, I never, never bought it. it. Well, you had a call like, or mail in or some shit. Oh, and mention card. I also had a card in the back, back, so you can even mail it in, or you can call and set it up. Police with a big deal on eBay, like big, big deal. And I love phones, you know. I, but this is the one right here. Those are definitely fire. Oh, uh oh. Don't tell me. Oh. For some reason, his uh, I'm going there. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. He's back. He got his his Wi-Fi hotspot. His Wi-Fi got disconnected. Low. Can you hear oh, me? Oh, his battery's low. Okay. Well, yeah, we can hear you. Is your battery low? Then we can move it on real quick. We got one more category. Guys, place your votes. 
Those are both two fire sneakers, guys. Those are both awesome, very stylish shoes. Um, so, can you hear uh, me? <laughs> we can hear you, bro. Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Let me see. I'm gonna leave and come you. back in. Okay. All right, go ahead. Do your thing. So he's gonna leave and come back in. So, what's up, Chris? <laughs> it's just me and you now. Hello. Um, Dan, we're about to do the final round, and Darian shit dies. Anyways, let's read some comments. Let's answer some questions. Darian just forfeited. Says uh, Andy. What's up, Andy? Um, those are Grails, my favorite Charles Barkley's. Says Colin. Um, Antoine says this was a hard one. Both are classics. I have the foams. Need the Barclays. Uh, both of them are definitely some East Bay memory, East Bay classics though. Uh, East Bay was my shit. Says Jazz Cruz. Yeah, it was a. It was, dude. East Bay was like. It was just like what you what you wanted to be doing before you were like you know. Like it's because you're in school. School sucks. You know, school sucks. So. One of the few things you could do without getting in trouble was like looking at an East Bay magazine in the back of the class. Darren, you good? Yeah, I'm good. I had to also charge my phone. That's what was going on. It's all good. Uh, yeah, so everybody's just, it looks like everybody's just, uh, somebody said that you forfeited. So <laughs> you want to make that clear? Never. No, the my charger. My charger because my phone was dying. He, he said he's never given up. Ever. We're going to go ahead and go on to the final round, guys. We've been going for almost two hours or hour and a half. Um, this has been really fun. This is the final round of the Sneaker Enthusiast and Soul Life Sneaker Battle Tournament. Um, and we will crown a fucking champion right after, or, well, actually, not right after this, but this is, this is you know, who know it's been a pretty close battle. So, um, what's Chris' shoe? I missed it. He had the phone pauses, the OG ones. Fire shoe. <laughs> Tuan says Darian tapped out. Chris, finish him. He he has a chance to in this final final new category that we're definitely going to use next year as long as Facebook groups are still around. Um and it is the dunk contest category. So basically, it is a sneaker that you would wear if you were playing in the dunk contest today. Or I mean whatever in the 90s whatever year you think you can pull out whatever you'd like, but it's your dunk contest sneaker. What are you wearing to the dunk contest, bro? Thousands of people are watching. All the celebrities are there. You know what I'm saying? All-star week. What are you going to pull out? That's a big, that's a that's a tall order, man. So why don't you guys get your sneakers ready? I'm excited to see what you guys pull out. This is the final round of the entire, it's been a lot for me, dude. I've been hosting these with Jonathan. It's a lot of work to put these on, so I appreciate everybody who stops by to uh, to vote and everything. And uh, it's just been a crazy ride. I'm excited to see what the final sneaker matchup is going to be. So here we go. In three, two, one. Show us what you got, guys. Okay, it looks like I got some bread threes over there from my guy Darian and Chris. Pulled out some Reebok pumps. Who went first last time? Chris did, right? So, oh. Oh, is that blue? Oh no, that's from your from your TV screen. Okay, there you go. Hold it down, Darren. All right, is it on me? Yep. All right, bet. So uh, when Chris picked this, this was a good one. Definitely was something different. Now it was challenging. I'm not gonna lie because and maybe you had this issue too, Chris. I don't wear a lot of basketball like like looking shoes. Like it doesn't really fit what I wear a lot of times, but two things 88 we all know that's when jordan came from the free throw line and he came for it with the white cement threes we remember that in particular but you're asking if what i would do in particular then i'm gonna go with particularly i'm gonna go with black because that's what i wear all day i wear the black all day so if it's a dunk contest for me i want to make sure that i'm wearing something that fits well, me you realize by wearing black you're gonna have to have you're gonna have to be playing for the Clippers then. Hell fucking no. I'd rather right. be I'd rather That's be right. in the skills challenge. I'd rather be in the skills challenge. <laughs> Fuck that. Yo, so, yeah. we gotta three, do a three point contest three. category too. And those laces as usual. 
fire yeah. shoe, man. With that I little fucking, yellow one. I had to sell mine because they fit Ooh. too small. They fit too small. It was just, it was literally like like this, bro. Like my toes were like this all the fucking time. I remember I tried to wear them like just to like go out like to a restaurant or whatever. And it was just like the most, it was just the worst experience. I had to sell mine, but those are just classic shoes. I like how they've aged. So dope pick, uh, Darian. Chris, dude, you got the final say. I mean, like, what what, what do you want to say? Like, this is dope, dude. What, I can't so, believe we made it to the end. This is the D Brown pump. I mean, it's probably one of the best sneaker moments for the Slam Dunk Contest. Hey, hey can you make your background green? <laughs> sure, Brian, anything for you? There we oh, go. Right, there we go. There we go. Um, like I said, it's the, probably the most iconic slam dunk <laughs> contest, like sneaker sort of collaboration. Besides, like the white cement threes, I'm um, gonna fit that in there. But this is cool, like pumping it up before the dunk, getting that little Reebok uh, kind of um, nod there. Uh, then the the blocking off the eyes. I mean, I can't compete with the Jordan three, but it's a dunk contest shoe. Like that's oh, those are know, iconic, I, iconic. I mean probably the most iconic moment in the dunk contest besides Jordan's dunk from the free throw line. So two very dope choices. Give it up for Chris. Give it up for Darian, man. They held it down. Um, I'm going to read some comments real quick and then I'll let, we'll have some parting words. Um, is there an echo in here? It says Colin, not that I'm aware of. Looks like everybody's just voting. If you'd like to vote for Darian, you put round 11 plus the ninja emoji. If you'd like to vote for Chris, round 11 plus the rose emoji. Um, Let me see. Darian's audio finally sounded okay for the very last round. Um, Looks like Colin is saying the same thing. I said it before. I said before, anyone revealed the shoes that if I see black cement threes, I'm giving them a win. Um, says Aaron, both classic dunk contest shoes, says Colin. <laughs> and John Gusta Guzman says, he's he's chiming in here. He says that he's going to rock some Timberlands. Um, but yeah, that was the dunk contest round. That was that was awesome. Um, two really classic sneakers. Guys, we made it to the end, man. This is the last sneaker battle of the year until next summer. I, I know it took a while for us to organize this very very last battle, but your boy's been busy. Um, and uh, it this is uh, Max says what a great battle, dope shoes and dope stories, what an awesome final. So um, appreciate both of you guys doing this. Anything you guys want to say before we get out of here, Chris? Go, go ahead, first. go first, bro. Uh, just thank you, Brian. And I know Jonathan's not here, but hopefully he watches this. Uh, thank you guys for putting this on. I know it's a lot to do this every single week, then tally up the votes and then all that. Uh, hopefully you guys like what I brought out throughout the whole competition. I must say though, only repeated one shoe. Just saying. You only repeated one shoe? That's pretty yeah, crazy. Yeah, it was the Grinches because I had to because I didn't have any other that holiday shoes. that you didn't do that. That's crazy. Um, battle time is the best till next year. Uh, good job, Brian and Jonathan. This is Amy. Uh, Tuan says, for the culture, biatches. Darren, anything you want to say before we get out of here, dude? Uh, absolutely. You know, I do my trash talking do during it, but I get my kudos at the end. Like, you know, we in battle. Yeah, yeah. It's Philly. He from Philly. I mean, oh, from Philly, shit, D.C., two of the roughest places you can be and shit. So a uh, big shout out to Chris for even making it, you know, both of us making it to this far. We made it this far through. We've seen so many good shoes in here every day, like shoes that we never see in this. And and I'm just talking about on the page alone that you've created that space, you and your brother. That there, the Brandon, that sorry, we, Brandon, Brandon has something funny to say. He says, I guess I'm putting away my ski mask <laughs> until next year. <laughs> what were you saying? What were you saying, Darian? My bad. But no, I was just saying, you know, with all the great shoes that we see on this platform all the time, the fact that both me, you, and uh, me, and you, Chris, made it this far with so much. Like, you know how hard it is to put on four weeks of so mm -hmm. of shoot and them to be high quality, not just to be quality. Yeah. And you got a lot of those where they pick, and we just got to pick something on a on a whim like that. So kudos to you. I mean, you, 
you shouldn't even have to go to work tomorrow because Brian worked the shit out of you by making you <laughs> the light director. But kudos to you, Chris, uh, all my sneaker fans in, in here. We, I love you dearly. The space in particular that you've given us there. Like, there's people that could be watching big time rating TV and they're here watching us in this yeah. particular. So kudos to you as well, Brian, for putting that Appreciate it, man. As well as your brother and to you all. So thank you. I do appreciate this whole thing. It, it started, as you know, Brian, as a joke between me, you, and Lance. Uh -huh. And it and here you are, man. Up. You might win it all. Who's going to win it all? We'll see. Make sure you guys place your votes. Um, this was the final battle. Andy Cool says, you guys have some time to reload. I'm taking the crown next year. I want all the smoke. We're all not right, coming man. back. We're not coming back. You don't think so? That's you never know, man. To keep up. <laughs> uh, I mean, some people have some pretty deep collections. I know Tony's got like, th I mean, some of them, some, there's some people out there. We're gonna get some new faces for next time. I'm gonna figure out some kind of like democratic way of like. Aaron, Aaron is win winning that shit. Aaron's gonna win. He's he does. Aaron. Um, yeah, that, this was fun. Um, shout out to all the contestants. Um, uh, Jazz Crew says Darian's gonna cry. I'm gonna cry too. Brian interrupts Darian right when he's giving him a compliment. Sorry. Um, what does the winner get? The winner gets. Uh. A Soul Life and Secret Enthusiast trophy, which is like a legit ass trophy. Like I, I get it made at the same place the NBA gets their trophies made. I'm pretty sure because what I when I was in there last time, I saw like some like Damian Lillard like uh, awards and shit in there. I some dude came with like a with a fucking like truck, and he pulled out like a dolly of all these like really nice basketball trophies, and I think they were from the NBA. Wow. But anyways, um, yeah, you get a trophy. There's, we're gonna design a really cool hat. And, and, uh, a and a collab, and, and, and a shirt, and then in a, a collab. When in ten years, when we're at the top of the sneaker game, me and my brother, one with a collab. ski mask and one with a water jug. You're gonna that's get a collab. Weird. All right. So, with that being said, guys, that is it. We're out of here. That is gonna do it for this year's sneaker battle tournament. Thank you guys so much, and I can't wait to do this next year.